Hello everyone, my name is Harsh and a very warm welcome to all of you in this AI assistant app in Flutter and in this video we are going to give an icon as well as going to change the name of our applications so for changing the name of our application simply go inside this Android simply app and you can go to src main and inside this android manifest.xml uh, you can give whatever you name you want so in my case i'm just naming it as ai assistant uh, you can name whatever you wish to okay and after that one more thing that i will suggest is uh, simply go inside this profile version and there is a internet permission defined here just copy this one out and paste it here because we are going to use it in our application and it's good practice to declare it here and now some more things that I want you to set it up simply go inside this build.gradle here and you will see below there are some things like minimum SDK version so I am setting this minimum SDK version to 21 which means this application is supported on minimum 21 SDK uh, which is indirectly Android Lollipop 5.0 okay and here something called as compiled SDK version so I am expecting it to be 34 which is indirectly Android 14 so from 5 to 14 this application is most probably su supported and after that we are good to go with Android side now move to iOS side and here is a file called as info.plist inside this runner so simply move it here and you can see the name is already pretty decent here uh, this CF bundle display name so if you wish you can change it for me it's okay so that's it so we have changed the name of our application now moving to the next step that is changing the icon of our application now for changing icon first we require an icon or an image so simply open your browser and search this flaticons.com uh, the reason is it's free okay so you can download free icons the only thing is uh, they suggest to attribute their author so their work doesn't go unnoticed so simply here you can search AI okay or anything you like and as you can see there are 18,000 around icons so you can simply grow and browse each one of them okay mine is this one okay so I'm just clicking on this and you can see there are multiple options to download it you can download it as uh, PNG SVG and vice versa so you can just copy it also what I want is simply download this one in PNG and mainly in this 512 pixel size okay so simply click on this uh, just a free download and after that uh, it will suggest to attribute the author so just select the path and download it I have already downloaded it and simply just copy the link and attribute it uh, you can find this link in the description as well now once you downloaded the icon simply move to your storage and just cut the icon and move to your project storage actually I am already in my project storage so what I am gonna do is I will create a new folder here name assets so in this folder I will keep all the assets of my application including icons including animations and so on so simply inside these assets I will create a new folder called as images and inside these images I will paste this icon and I can just call this logo.png because it is the logo of my application and after that as you can see there is a folder created called as assets images and logo now for changing the icon you can use android studio for changing the icon of android and then xcode for ios and it goes on for now i'm just going to prefer a global solution which means using a package which will change the icons for all the possible platforms for us so you can just go to your browser and simply search icon launcher flutter and you can see the two most famous options here first one is flutter launcher icons and it is updated six months ago next one is uh, this icon launcher and it is published 32 days ago so I'm just using this one okay you can use any one of you like just copy this from here move to your project and inside this popset.yml the main important thing is you have to paste it inside this dev dependencies so simply here hit enter and simply paste it here for changing app icon so it's a good practice that you write comments in your application and now moving to the package we need to read the instructions so if you move below 
uh, it is giving a very simple instruction you can add simply inside your pubspec.yml or you can create a separate file called as iconslauncher.yml and paste these configurations actually i prefer creating a separate file okay because uh, it keeps the logic differently for a launcher icons so if you want to set a complex launcher icon the code will not be this simpler so in that case a separate file will be better idea so what i'm just gonna do is inside this i will click on this popsep.yml just plus and just paste that name and we are done with that separate file okay we just need to copy this code snippet from here okay so just copy this one out and move to our project and simply paste it here now you have to define the path of the image here so it is located in assets uh, in our case images slash logo.png so this is the path actually so if you don't know the path you can just click on it and copy the relative path and then go it here and just try to paste it here okay so this is the same path and after that simply move inside your pubspec.yml and we need to uncomment these portions too to use assets in our application so simply uncomment this okay just say we can access the images so simply here i'm just gonna paste that path rather what i will do is i want to access whole images from this images folder so i am just writing this much and simply press ctrl save so it will call pub get for you okay or you can click on this download icon here now moving to our browser uh, as you can see uh, now run pub get and then finally run this command so just copy this stuff just move to our project just open the terminal by pressing ctrl plus tilde symbol and simply paste those commands here so it will run pub get which we have already run and simply this dart run icon launcher create and one more thing before running this we have a perfect path uh, we want to use it for android as well as ios if you want to do it for web to simply write web below unable to true okay so simply hit and enter and it have successfully set the icons for our application and it is saying app icons for ios ipod not supported alpha channel just ignore this for now okay and the next thing is if you want to set a complex icon using this package you can simply click on this here and it will go to this uh, github page so as you can see if you want to set different different icon for different uh, platforms or else a background image a foreground image and many more things so you can configure all the stuff here okay for now this simple use case will work for us and just let's run the project and check if icon is set properly or not so i'm just gonna press simply f5 and just select my emulator so the application is up and running and as you can see here uh, app icon is changed so this one ai assistant okay and the name is also changed so now if you want you can just go to this icons launcher and you can just comment these codes okay and after that if you wish you can just comment these codes too because we no longer require these codes so that's it for this video see you in the next video till then bye bye